Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Screen Seekers. My name is Jake, because actually I didn't say my name, I don't think, last time, so nobody knows like, who I am. I'm Jake. I, I swear I said I was Alex, but... I yeah, no, I think people know who you are. Oh yeah, absolutely. People know who I am. There are worse. But they might not know my name. In this week's episode, we will be talking about the PS5 Pro announcement. We'll be looking at the BFI Best Animated Films list on Letterboxd. We'll be playing a round of Rotten Round. Also, we'll be playing Anna Ye or Anna Ne. I got that right, didn't I? No, Anna... Yeah, the new Anna game. Or Anna, a oh, Anna Ye or Anna Ne. Yeah, yeah. Playing Puzzled Premise, Buses Brain Box, Tis the Season, Nintentions, and finishing off with what screens have we been seeking or will seek in the future. So basically, a, a real packed podcast of random-ass games that we've just thought of that would be quite funny to play. And fun, you know. Yeah. Um, so first off, we're going to kick off with the PS5 Pro announcement. Um, which So it's the brand new PS5 model, uh, similar to the PS4 Pro, which came out, oh god, 2017 was it? Uh, this is a new model, and we've seen nothing about it. It's typical that I got a PS5 Slim last Christmas. <laughs> I haven't used it really. <laughs> played two games. I wanted the Pro, but, you know. So I haven't looked at anything of it. And they've announced it. I assume it, all the information's out. I'm just assuming it is because I haven't checked because I didn't want to see it. Oh, right. So you could type in... Because we're going to guess the price and stuff. That's what we're going to do. But you could yes. type it in and it could be just like, we don't know. It could be, yeah. Okay, it, could be, okay. it could be like, yeah. we don't we don't have a price for everyone That's yet. That's fine. That's fine. I'm assuming this year... That's the first okay, guess yeah, I'm just going to yeah, make. I'm assuming yeah. it's out... I'm going to say November. Yeah, yeah. Like last time. Uh, price. So how, much, how much was the... I, th I, I think it might be next year. Really? Actually. When, though, next year? Early next year? I, I can kind of see both, but I, I would say November. Wouldn't you want it out for Christmas? Yeah, but wouldn't you want... Every, like, I, I swear there was something that was being released after Christmas. Big. I was like, wouldn't you want it out for Christmas? But, you know. I, I, no, I don't think so. But Christmas next year, Jake. Christmas comes out every year. Oh, you're on about think. next year, are you? Yeah. Like it released next November? Yeah. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, this might be the announcement. Because we haven't heard anything of it. So this might no. be the announcement there is a pro coming out. Because I can't imagine it being... Oh, so that's what they did with the Slim, wasn't it? I don't think this is going to be like as big of a deal as the PS4 Pro was. Because no. the main thing with the PS4 Pro is, hey, look, we've made a console that doesn't sound like a jet. Whereas the PS5 is quite quiet now. I don't yeah. know. I think it will be more powerful, whatever. Price. So how much was the PS5? 550 Though I do know it, it went up in that's Japan, what, didn't it? It went up in Japan. And that's the disc know. version. Oh, right? oh, yeah, yeah. So the digital version I, is cheaper? I'm going to yeah, put a guess in the right now that the Pro is going to be a digital console. Only. Only. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw that out there. right? I don't know why, <laughs> but something in me says I that I to cut down on costs, they're going to be like, the this thing is, is digital though, only. like... It's stupid, I know. It, it, it cuts down on cost, but then it also, doing a disc version, you have more opportunity to please, because lots of people probably like physical media out yeah. there. Yeah. There are probably like millions mm. who only do physical media and like mm. that. Um, so you're going to that market as well. So I don't know why you, mm. I don't know why you, when you can, you wouldn't. You've kind of convinced me, yeah. to be honest. And also, uh, um, I, I believe I it's... Know. I don't know if it's this year or last year, but uh, it, was, it was within probably the last 12 months that digital sales overtook physical sales in the UK. Yeah, but I definitely I think, think like the that's the way they're heading. Like, okay. By PS6. PS6 won't be uh, this copy. It'll only be digital, yeah, I think. I'm probably with you there. Maybe um, they want to keep the the PS5 people happy. So how much... How much? So... It was five fifty for the original. Was it five fifty was it really? I think that so. That sounds insane. For for disc anyway, I th I'd say it was about five hundred for PS Five. I, I no, it was probably like six hundred when it came out. Like day I don't, I don't want to type it in in I case like, so. oh, I will. Um, but, PS5 but, 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 but I will say seven hundred at launch. There's no way it's more than seven hundred. If it's seven hundred, maybe. If there's a disc version, so according to um, wherever this is from, uh, 450 was the PS5 at launch. The disc, 
Yes. Oh. I'm way off. According to Wikipedia. Okay. So how much we reckon the pro is going to be? Then I will say 550, 600 for disc. Ass assuming the digital of PS5 was like 400. Yeah, I'm so I'm n I'm nearly close to agreeing with you, but I think because of the price rises, particularly like even they put the controller up. Oh yeah, we'll guess that after. I think six fifty for, di for, for the disc, disc and six hundred for digital. That's not, I mean yeah, yeah. or five fifty for I don't know how much the drive is. I don't know what the difference is, but do you know that the actual price? Do you want me to look it up? Yeah, go on. Give us those lucky numbers. Here we go, PS5 exists. Pro. Let's go to the PlayStation Vlog, which it says, uh, it's called the PS5 Pro, yeah. Uh, features include GPU upgrade, advanced ray tracing, and PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Pardon? Uh, it just looks like a PS5 with uh, grills dance. It looks like it's got, you know, one of those fade haircuts? Mm -hmm. Looks like that. Nice, nice. Uh, it's talking about AI, it's talking about better Wi-Fi. We don't want um, that. We want the price, man. I bet there's not a price yet, especially if it's an early announcement. There's got to be like estimates, at least, or what people speculate it to oh, be. Oh, hang on. Let me double check this because I'm just reading it for the first time. So I'm trying to like take everything in. Okay, so okay, I was actually my initial thing was right. Six fifty um, disc. I've got I got two things right, although I backed down on one of them. Firstly, it launches this November. Okay. Secondly, digital only. Oh, okay, okay. So, and it, but you can buy a disc, disc drive. drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is seven hundred pounds. Oh my God! Um, I'm so, I'm sorry, the people, the people who who will buy this. It comes with a two terabyte storage, a wireless controller, and a copy of Astro's Playroom, which we talked about before, which but is free. It, Two terabyte. How how much is mine? The one. The one. Okay, so it's double. Um. Yeah, that's very expensive. Yeah. Um. And especially unless... if you've already got a PS Five. Exactly, and do, I do, think do, do, do... there's no new games out to even like r to showcase this thing off, really. Because I know you got the PS Four and the PS Four Pro. Yeah. Did you sell your PS Four? Is that like what you do? No, I gave it to my brother. I think that's oh, what right, I did. Yeah. But the first. The PS4 Pro was quite a reasonably good upgrade because, yeah, I think the main thing was the noise of that thing was just insane. And they just reduced all the noise of the, the fans and the stuff like that. What you but that's say? a massive... That's, that's £250 more. It's a lot, isn't it? What, what, do you know what the price of the um, PS4 was? Uh, what, the, the original PS4? To, to the Pro. Let's have a look. Because that's insane. That's 250 quid. Uh, the original PS4 was 350 Yeah. In the UK. Um, oh, hang on, I don't quite... Google has generated, like, an, an AI answer, but I don't know if I actually believe it, because it's also saying that the PS4 Pro was 350 Oh. Now, might... I know, obviously, oh, I that know. can't be right. Can nah. I? That would be insane. <laughs> How much is the Pro launch? Free, yeah, saying, okay, yeah, according to IGN, Three fifty was the pro. What? So, I mean, what? Well, that... three fifty was the original PS Four. I mean, I guess that was like ten years ago. That's crazy, it? isn't it? How did they do that? How did they keep that pro with inflation? How did they keep that? They, they, price they, they, the they're same? probably like, we don't want people mad or something. I don't know. <laughs> and now they've gone fuck it for okay, seven hundred yeah. quid, which is quite a lot. I mean, I buy stuff, uh, uh, especially like, for something like people. Quite all have PS5s now, and PS5 is yeah. good. It's not bad, is it? No. Uh, it feels like we haven't. It's, even it's, really... it's only for people who have like waited. Like I was kind of waiting for a Pro. Yeah. Um, but would you have if you didn't have a PS5 now? Would you go straight to the Pro? Uh, well, yeah. I would want to, but the price would be like mm, off putting. Off putting. I, I, I mean, it would be like something. Like a Christmas present or something. To me, that it sounds like be. a PS6 that's, price. That's, that's a big, that's a big present. I'd, I'd be like, I'm putting 200 quid towards that. I think <laughs> that's present. if if the PS6, when it inevitably gets announced, I think that's the price I would have put on it. Yeah, not, will, not a will, PS5 Pro. Well, yeah, that, yeah, like um, PS6 must be like they must be looking at like 600. No, no, no 800. I mean, 
surely, or at least seven hundred, seven hundred fifty. Because I know um, when when Sony and PlayStation when they released the PS4, they sold the console uh, not on a profit. So the the console was manufactured. The initial years of development, they basically sold it. Uh, not I don't know if it was a loss, but it, they weren't making profit from the consoles, or at least not enough to warrant. Like uh, yeah. they were making profit from everything else, all the, the subscriptions, controllers, accessories, everything else. So yeah, it's it's, it's pretty insane. Seven hundred quid is. Uh, what, what what about the controllers? What sh- shall I guess the price of the controller? I mean, they're going they're the same controllers, so it'll be. Whatever, what are they called? Dual sense. Shall I guess the price? Oh, or you, do you know the price? I don't know. I don't think I. Well, they, they're, they're going to be the same. They're not going to increase them. Well, yeah, but the, the currently. Uh, I reckon they're. Okay, 80 I, quid. 80 I actually, quid. Okay. 80 quid. I'm I saying. was. Honestly, I was going to say 70. I was, I was s- between 70 and 80. 60 but... on Amazon. Oh, Amazon. Mind you, they are bloody good controllers, mind. Um, but, again. You know, I guess you take seventy quid off of the, the pro. You know, makes it a bit easier to swallow, but still, yeah. like you need a controller. So what? You know. Anyhow, that's that's the fun breaking news where you know we talk about really expensive hardware. Yeah. Because everything's getting more expensive. Um, we're just gonna have a quick, quick little divergence, and I'm just pulled up the uh, the hundred essential animations on the BFI letterbox <laughs> list. This is an official list. Uh, well. I say official, it's BFI, so probably all these films you can probably get on BFI. I don't know. Maybe there's bias. I don't know. But it says, the most interesting and important anime oh films from around God. the world from the 1920s to the present day. This isn't a quiz, don't worry. Unless you, oh, want, it not, to, unless you not, want it to be a quiz. I thought it was going to be. Well, guess all 100. No, like, like top 10 or something. Okay, well, yeah, no, well, all right, we'll no, do that. No, no, no. Um, so I was just going to... I'm going to have a quick scroll just because I was very interested. So this, I assume this is ranked by... Well, it says the list order. I don't know if this is actually like a ranking as such, or it's just a hundred essential animated films. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of sort of again. You've got like I can see a ton of Disney. Yeah, yeah. Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo. Uh, but then we've got some different ones like uh, Fantastic Planet. I think you've seen, have you seen Fantastic. Oh, I Fantastic have, Planet's I have, good. Yeah. Is it fantastic. Is it? It's quite fantastic. Yeah. I haven't it's, actually um, seen it. It's such um, a good French film. It's uh. But very, uh, it's quite different. It's very good. Son of the White Mare, I know that's meant to be good. We got uh, obviously Studio Ghibli, Spirits of the Way, uh, yeah, which I watched recently that's for the first good, time. Yeah. Which is so good. Yeah, I saw you rate it five star on that so, technique. And so damn good. Others, yeah. Um, maybe your name's up there. I know that's good. I mean, I've watched it. Oh, I thought I thought you have like my name. I was like, what Jake? Like my Jake? my Animated name is up there. Film Jake. Uh, Alice, which we both love. Uh, oh yeah, this is good. Jan Schwenkmeyer, stop motion, mental. There we got Lion King, Nine Before Christmas. I'm just going to scroll. I'm just it's not even a really sort of solid discussion. It's just been just scrolling down. Uh, the Iron Giant, we got Shrek. We got what the hell is that? It's in Japanese. I haven't even got a title on the poster. I'm gonna have to look it up. <laughs> My life as McDoll. Muck what? Donald. Uh, McDoll. McDoll. As in muck. As in McDonald's. And a doll. As in your doll. Your oh doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Perfect Blue, which I've heard, yeah, again. I mean, oh, obviously Blue, I've heard I've good... That. Have you seen it? Yeah, Perfect Blue, yeah. Good? Yeah, yeah. I assume it's good. It's on the good, yeah. 100 best animated yeah. film. Uh, you got Incredible Tokyo Godfathers, yeah, I've heard of that one. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I, I want to watch that. That seems uh, really good, Tokyo Godfathers. We've got Watson Gromit, of course. We've got Coraline, uh, which is... What you see I want to rewatch that because it's been in the cinema. It's still out in cinemas, actually. It's done oh, quite well for itself. Uh, the Illusionist, that's a, that's a fun uh, French animated film. Uh, How to Train Your Dragon, they're great. Um, oh, what is that? The Congress? That doesn't even look like an animated film. What the hell is that? What? It sounds so boring as well. Oh, that's Congress. an interesting... An aging, out-of-work actress accepts one last job through the consequence of a decision... Through the con- sorry. Through the consequence of a decision affects her in ways she didn't consider. There you go. Know about that? No idea. Uh, Lego Movie, uh, Rocks in My Pockets, don't know what that is. Uh, Song of the Sea, that's great, by the Cartoon Saloon. If you haven't watched any Cartoon Saloon films, I recommend that you do. Uh, Wolf Walkers, yeah, is on here. Uh, Spider-Man, of course, across the Spider-Verse and beyond Spider-Verse. Oh, yeah, those are great. Um, Your Name, there Your we go. Your Name! Uh, How far not... down the list is it, assuming it's 
Right. I mean, if it was, it'd be it'd be it'd be a miserable sort of. Uh, you know, you're looking at like ninety two, wasn't it? Um, but I don't think this is ranked. The Red Turtle, nah, that's, yeah, I've heard that's be. good as well. Yeah, yes, um, no dialogue. It's, it's really good. Gotcha. It's to do with Stuart Ghibli, isn't it? It's, they're, they're like, yeah, it's not their it, film, but it... Yeah, it's yeah. Um, maybe like a sub-branch, maybe? Or something like yeah, that. yeah. Uh, Inside Out, uh, Zootopia, um, Frozen, of course. Uh, what is that? Boy, what's that? Boy something? Boy, Boy in the World. Oh, really weird art style. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what the point of that topic was. I just sort of scrolled it. Oh, Animal Farm. I've seen Animal Farm as well. Mr. Bug Goes to Town. That sounds I've, like I've it. read Animal Farm when, when we had to do it in GCSE. Did we? Did we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no, it's not big, is it? I read it recently no, in the last no, like, no. year or two. It's, it's quite it's really yeah, pretty so minute, much. really. Uh, the Snow Queen, Fritz the Cat. I've heard of Fritz the Cat. I don't. Belladonna of Sadness. Oh, I've heard. That art style. That's such a weird film. It's very sexual. Oh, it's um. What have you yeah. given it on? Uh, have you have you maybe a four? Have you rated it? It reminded me. I'm of sorry, Mr. My past Mr. Alex. It made me sad. But you've got a full five star right there. Full five, oh yeah. Oh, 1972. Oh, it's like watercolor. It's like watercolor. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's 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 really weird. It's a good art style. It's hmm. um, not so. I I, I mean, it's, I I would revisit it eventually, but it's not something I'd go back to hmm. back to. It's a very weird film. Akira as well is on here. Oh, yeah. And that's that's a good uh, Ghost in the Shell as well. These sort of. So much you got. According to Letterboxd, uh, I've watched four, 54, so I'm over halfway, so that's not too bad. Do you, see, you, oh, you can't see what I. I no, me. I'd have to. I, I don't know. I do, but that's me, possible. Yeah. Um, and also, I have to shout out The Tale of the Fox, which is number two on here. And The Tale of the Fox is, simply put, uh, stunning. I, I, it's a stop motion film. Uh, from 1937, and he absolutely um, one of the most impressive things I've ever watched. It's basically imagine a uh, a Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton slapstick film mixed with a fantasy setting, but it's all done through stop motion anthropomorphic animals, and the climax is just something that I'm like, how how on earth did that? I think it took like seven years to make. It's just unbelievable. You can go watch on YouTube. It's I think it's not long. It's like an hour long. Um, it's really bloody good. Um, so go watch that. That's my big shout out of the week. Well, enough about me. Although actually, on my schedule here, we're gonna go straight to me yeah. again. Um, because <laughs> I just keep talking. Uh, we're gonna play a game of Rotten Round. If you don't know what Rotten Round is, it's basically when I give Alex a franchise and he has to work out what is the highest rated. And lowest rated on Rotten Tomatoes of that franchise. I did quite well last time. I was proud of myself. You did. You we did The Crow, um, and there was there was only like what five six films was there. But you did. Yeah. But you got the main two. The the. Well, yeah, I, I, I got the highest and then the lowest. Yeah. We're gonna look at a bit of a chunkier franchise today, so this might take a while. But I'm not gonna How ask you for chunky? all of them. How chunky a franchise can it get? Um, more than six. They're right, it's not as a toy. It's 26. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to be looking, because it is spooky season, we're going to be looking at Halloween. Oh, so the Halloween franchise God. is well documented because it's gone on forever. Um, and it's had about three reboots in its lifetime. So just to go through them, here we go. Strap in. We've got Halloween. Halloween 2. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween... The Curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2O, 20 Years Later, Halloween Resurrection, Halloween, that's 2007, Halloween 2, Halloween, that's 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. Now, I hope you <laughs> remember most of those. Oh, yeah. Um, I can what recite them. is the highest rated on Rotten I'm Tomatoes? Gonna, it has to be, surely, the original Halloween. It is. Yeah. Can you hazard a guess on what the score is? I'm looking for the critic score. This is all critic score. I'm going to say... Oh. Ooh. Um, my first... Thing, like, I'm going to say, like... <laughs> I was think so 80. Did you, do you mind, like, <laughs> not dying? <laughs> it's an impression. It's a podcast. <coughs> I, I, I need you Sorry. to stay alive to give me the answers. Oh, yeah. So, oh, that's all I'm good for, anyway. Yeah, that's, that's all you get for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's a come out so, and kill myself. So my first thing is like 80%. 80%. But then I'm like, it's Halloween. It's critics. I would think 90s, but I think that's too high. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I need an answer. I don't need like I'm a gonna guess. I'm going to say 90. Just 90? Flat 90? I mean, yeah, it was 92. Nine, oh, 88, 88. Ooh. No, no, 92. We're Ooh. going 92. We're going 92. It's 90... Okay. Six. I knew 96%. it was going to be high. I knew it was going to be high. Um, that's very, very high. Uh, which is, you know, for horror, it's kind of unprecedented. What is the lowest? I'm actually going to double check. The lowest. Can you do read them out, please? I can. So we've got Halloween 2. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Halloween H2O, 20 years later. Halloween Resurrection. Then we've got Halloween 2007, Halloween 2, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and Halloween Ends. That's way too... Have a, have a shot for every time I say Halloween, and you'll be dead. You'll be, like, you'll be, you'll be like, halloween you know, From, like, the fourth, like resurrection of michael myers or like to to like the most recent one they're probably all like below 10 percent <laughs> um what is the lowest I, of, what's uh, the lowest i'm we, gonna go with we got halloween 2 halloween uh, season of the witch return of michael myers revenge of michael myers curse of michael myers h2o resurrection halloween and halloween revenge. 2 i'm gonna go revenge revenge yeah the revenge is not quite the lowest, okay? Okay. Um, so the lowest is actually your one-off, technically. Well, sort of. The one before. I mean, it's the one after, actually. Oh. Halloween: The Curse of Michael Myers has a currently as an eight percent. Was it? Was it H two O? Was that the one after? No. Oh. What the, was the, one? C- the Curse of Michael Myers oh, curse. is after. Yeah, is eight percent. Okay. What was the one I said? Uh, you said Revenge, which was twelve percent. <laughs> I knew it was there. Um, going to be low. I guess I could go. I'm not going to go for all of them. But would you like to guess what the first reboot has, roughly? So the first reboot was in 2007, What's directed by Rob Zombie. It's just called Halloween. Well, um, that was the well, first main reboot. I'm, I'm not talking about like, the multiple stories or you nerds like, out there. Or timeline. It's 32. It's 28. Oh, then would you like to guess the s- third reboot, which is 2018? Oh, I think that's quite. Good. I that, I enjoyed that one. I think mm. it's going to be like 64. It's a 79. Oh, 79. That's, yeah. that's high. And then it goes downhill, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Let's go back to the start and just go through them again. Uh, Halloween, yeah, 96%. Halloween 2, 33%, which I I think is a bit mean, but Halloween Absolutely. 2 is okay. Uh, Season of the Witch, which isn't a Halloween, which obviously they, they just stuck Halloween on it because... It's they not wanted, a Halloween? Not, not really. There's no Michael Myers in it. Oh. So, I mean, what's that's the point? Lame. It's... Interesting, but it's not. Uh, Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers has a 39. Halloween 5, Revenge has 12. Halloween The Curse has 8. Halloween H2O has a 56. Wow, we're really getting good here. Then we go back down to Halloween Resurrection, and it has 10%. Uh, then we got Halloween, the Rob Zombie one, 28%. The sequel he did is 25%. Obviously, the uh, recent reboot, Halloween, uh, 79%. But then it takes a massive dump, and we go into Halloween Kills, uh, which is 39%. And then Halloween Ends, which is, again, a stinker, at 40%. Oh. I think the best part of Halloween Ends is the bit before the title, and that's about it. <laughs> that, that like, opening prologue bit. Because uh, Kills thing. is the one which is evil night, and like, all that crap. Oh, yeah. And then Halloween Ends is where they just get rid of uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, and they just go with this random-ass romance story between these characters we don't care about. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, that was Rotten Round. Alex, oh, that's it, is it? Are we... You have a new. Also, you have a, I a, have new, a new round. quiz. This is just quizzes back to back, guys. New round. Um, this is Anna Yay uh, or Anna Nay. Try and choke on my tea. So, the purpose of this is I have uh, gathered <laughs> real. Uh, I They are real. Uh, <laughs> validated. By validated myself. just now. Um, <laughs> anime titles of i mean i don't know if they're series or films but they are certainly great real i don't know yeah to be that doesn't really help i was going to be like oh great it, you know the, but something i else. mean yeah there's just anime that they exist to be fair i did not check if the ones i made up are real or not <laughs> <laughs> they very well could be so you want so i apologize so for you, any I, Super yeah. anime lovers out there. So I've got to like, decide whether the type, we, each of them is, which is the fake one which and is which the is the real one. Which is the fake and yeah. which is the real one. Okay. Um, and there's four 
Maybe, maybe five if you want the five. I mean, it's up to you. Okay. Um, but should we give it a go? Wait, how is it five? Surely it's, it's got to be even, isn't it? One, 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 one. Oh, you mean four rounds? Yeah, okay. yeah so I've got four or okay. five rounds. It depends what you want. Okay, let's let's do it. Let's go. Okay, so we have... Are you Vernon K or what? Uh, um, I'm, I'm Alex Bus. Oh. Bus is brain, brain box. Come on, Jake. You so know, that's Alex not anime. Yet. That's not coming up yet. Um, it's coming up later. So, for Anna Ye or Anna Nate, round one, Ding. your anime titles are playing death games to put food on the table or chess master, my king feeds on your queen. Ooh. Can you get, Which I is so long. real. Can you give them again? Yeah, of course. First one is playing death games to put food on the table. Mm. Or chess master, my king feeds on your queen. I think it's the real one is chess master. I am sorry to say, oh. Jake, that is incorrect. Damn. The real one is playing death games to put food on the table. That is the real well, yours is better, right? anime. Oh, thank you very much. I should make titles as discussed as in it another. So yeah. many times. I'm good at titles. Okay. Number two. Yeah, go on. Round two. Mm -hmm. The first one is Fun Times at the Wonderland Park. Mm -hmm. Or number two, my If My Wife Became an Elementary School Student. Now, this is Jap Japan we're talking about. Yeah. So, yeah, just bear that in mind. Can you just give them one more time? I think I know what I'm going to go with. Fun Times at the Wonderland Park. Or If My Wife Became an Elementary School Student. I'm so tempted to go with one of them, but is it, are you just trying to trick me? I'm going to go the second one. The wife? Yeah. Yep, ding, ding, that's correct. Japan, people, Japan. am I right? Am I right? No, that one the okay. part, crap. Round three? Yeah. This is another title round, obviously. Well, yeah. The first one, even given the worthless appraiser class, I'm actually the strongest. Jesus Christ. Or Dungeons with Eagles guarding my treasure. Got to be that one. That one, that. Oh, God damn it. It's the first I'm so one. certain. Even given the worthless appraiser class, I'm actually the strongest is actually a thing. The fourth round. God, imagine trying to put that on a poster. I know, right? Like, what's with people? I love long titles, but that might be too long. Mm. <laughs> There's a line you mustn't Round cross. Round four. Then. First one, the quintessential quintuplets. Ooh. Or the second one, uh, majestically making way for Shintaka. Can you give them again, please? The quintessential quintuplets. Or number two, majestically making way for Shintaka. I'm going to go with that one because it's longer. Nah. Go <coughs> <on>. <coughs> the quintessential quintuplets. Jesus. Do you want the final round that I may have, or do you want? Well, not not to, not to. Yeah. So it's basically, do you want? Oh, go on then. Just do let's it. do it. Let's just do it. Why? Why? You've done it ready. You should have just been like, oh, you're having another round. Like, you are. It is the bonus round. Oh, bonus round. Awesome. Okay. So like seven titles in there. The first one, Yandera, Dark Elf. She chased me all the way from another world. <laughs> That's your first title. I think these titles kind of just, this is just kind of log lines, isn't it? You just or, kind of give the whole plot or, away. Or, or the Damn. second one, my girlfriend is a mafia boss man. There is no way on heaven and earth that that second one is real. But, hang on, I haven't given my answer yet. Can you read them again? Yandera, a dark elf. Yandera. She chased me all the way from another world. Or oh, is that too long? Number two, my girlfriend is a ma male mafia boss man. Why would you, uh, like a mafia male boss man? Male mafia. Is that a boss translation man. issue, or is that just you being stupid? That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to that's work what out. I find in online. Maybe. I uh, I'm, I got nothing to lose, have I? So I'm just gonna go with that one. That one. Yeah. <laughs> God mine. damn it! I should have <laughs> gone with mine. it. I literally, I was like, there's no way. No. Wow, yeah. that was hor horrific. It was great. It was great. And you, you, you yeah, you made two right. Two right, yeah. And three wrong. <laughs> so it's not a win, is it, really? No. 
Anna yay or Anna nay, it seems for Jake, it's Anna nay today. It is, and it will uh, be Anna never come back again. Hey, it is, it is definitely coming back, don't worry. Next time on Anna yay or Anna nay, I don't have a preview for you, but there we will be more titles and... Moving on to your next oh, like round, the, like the championship title, you got to kind of like keep it, win it back, and whatever. Um, right, yeah, yeah. As revenge for that absolute shite, um, I've got uh, my own little cryptic thing because I kind of took inspiration from your uh, your bus's brain bollocks. Um, I've got my own little idea, which is <laughs> which I like to call puzzled premise. And I've got a yes. premise or a log line. It's more like a log line that I've gotten from a film. You know, every, you know, I'm not. I'm going to pick like a really niche film, a film that you know of, and I've basically gone through and replaced a lot of the key words with something that's kind of I find funny in terms of it's related to the original word. So I've kind of just scrambled it. Okay. Okay. Kind of similar to you know what you like to do, just make up nonsense. <laughs> um, so here we go. Here's the logline: A man with plenty of room is left on Snickers after his gang believed he is fried. He must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay, and yet he can wait until he gets a lift. So someone with lots of room has Snickers. A man with plenty of room is left on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried. He must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay, and he can wait until he gets a lift. So this is the original logline of a film, and it's been scrambled. Oh the main words God. have been scrambled to, you know. Now, oh what I will God. do is, if you're really struggling, I I will f put the original one of the original words back in, just to see if I'll help you. Well, well, okay. Lots of room. First of all, I think Castaway because he's got lots of way on the on the beach. Okay, Wilson. I don't think it is that because you then say. Well, he's surviving on Snickers, but that could be like, you know, sand. Um, but then it's gangs, and he's not part of a gang. I, so, <laughs> gang, I do think of West Side Story, but I know it's not, because it sounds more like a... Bear in mind, like I said, I've taken the main, the a lot of words and changed them to something else. Like, almost Can like I I've... guess? Guess which words you've done first. If you want. Snickers. Go yes. Um, Skew read it out again. A man with plenty of room. Room, room is one. I mean, yeah, I guess sort of. It's hard to, yeah. A, a man with plenty of room is left on Snickers after Snickers. his gang believe he is fried. Fried, definitely. That is one, yes. And must use his cleverness to return a phone call home. Phone call home. Yes. Wait, oh my God. I think I... Read it out. I think I know it. A man with plenty of room is left on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried and must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay and can get a and he can wait until he gets a lift. It's E.T. You were so close. It's E. Oh, you were damn. really, really close. I thought it was E.T. Is, is it like a Spielberg film with that? No, okay. but you kind of got the. You, well, you're not so close actually. I've been <sighs> nice, but you're close. I can see why you thought. Yeah. That. Um, put, put put an original word back in there, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put the first word back in because okay. I think it'll help you. Okay. So we're gonna get rid of a man with plenty of room. Okay. An astronaut is left on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried and must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay and he can wait until he gets a lift. I thought I thought you changed one word. You changed like. Ten words. I changed one word into a couple of words. An exactly. astronaut into, you know. It's my first time, okay? Just be nice. You call buses rain bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's this? I don't even know what this ride is called. Um, puzzled premise. Uh, puzzled premise. I've puzzled myself. P bollocks. <laughs> um, bollocks. Um, an astronaut. Do you want another word in? An astronaut is left on Snickers. Do you want the next word in? Yeah. There's actually loads of words. I've, I didn't even realise how many words I've replaced. But they all make sense. <laughs> An astronaut becomes stranded on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried and must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell his folks, to tell the folks he is okay and he can wait until he gets a lift. 
An astronaut, an astronaut becomes stranded on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried and must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay so and he can wait until he gets so, so, so it must be an astronaut. It must be... Snickers must be the moon or something like that. I mean, yeah, you're not far off. Or it must be like... Oh, it's Mars. Okay, uh, it, an astronaut is... Becomes strand- stranded on Mars. Oh, is it the Martian? It is. It the is Martian. the Martian. Okay. Here is the original. I'll read okay. the, uh, my premise and then the original. A man with plenty of room is left on Snickers after his gang believe he is fried and must use his cleverness to return a phone call home to tell the folks he is okay and can wait until he gets a lift. The original logline for the Martian is, an astronaut becomes stranded on Mars after his team assume he is dead and must rely on his ingenuity to find a way to signal to Earth that he is alive and can survive into a potential rescue. <laughs> that was puzzled oh, premise, man. guys. He did get it in the end. I, after uh, two, yeah. Two, 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 two word two words, helps. Yeah. Well, there we have it. Another game for us to play. Speaking oh, yeah, of that games, was, that was pretty good, let's go actually. on to the OG game and play Buses Brain Box. Oh, oh my god, this round of Buses Brain Box. So squeaks on his chair. As I squeak on my chair and Buses Brain Box is loaded up onto into my what is it now? Um, is it? Into my brain and turned into a box. Okay, Jake. The thing is, give me a question. I mean, number. What? Give you a question. Yeah. These are questions uh, where all, all the answers are film related, maybe characters, maybe TV, who knows? It could be, I don't know, a country. Uh, no, it's not. What? But it, don't make it harder. I can barely do as it is. A number of one to ten, Jake, please. Uh, four. Okay, number four. I set an alarm for 10.30 every morning. Before it goes off, I take a trip into the past. Where am I going? Back to the future. Back to the future for my alarm, of course. Awesome. <laughs> Look at that nail back. That's like the that best was one good. I've ever had. Yeah. Like, no hesitation. Just back to the future. Yeah. Like that. Give me another number between one and two. Uh, five. Numero five. The answer is Star Wars. No. The answer is Star Wars. Exactly, that's what I said. I'm not going over this again. Okay. Uh, does it have Star Wars in the title? What, what do you mean? The question? The answer. You can't ask me that. What? I'm going to say, are you saying, are you gonna say Attack it? of the Clones? No. Damn it. That is not the answer. Because I thought, like, there's two of you. I thought you're both, like, arguing against... You, 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 you're getting somewhere. That is, that is, that is a question. That is, that is something. But there's no about. other titles that are, like, that generic that would, like, fit, a st- like, a, t- a Star Wars title. Uh, it, it, it's not necessary. Sorry, the, okay. It's not necessary. Star Wars. Be like, Star Trek. It's not necessary. No. So, if, what was it? Star, it's Star Wars. The answer is Star Wars. Of course, it's Star Wars. What, what, the answer is Star Wars. No, yeah. the answer is Star Wars. Exactly. That's what I said. I'm not going over this again. And no, the answer is not Star is Wars. This a, is this a film? <laughs> yeah, there's a film. There's a film. So, something to do with, it's obviously got to do with Star Wars, though. Otherwise, you wouldn't have it there. No. What, what do you mean, no? No. It's nothing to do with Star Wars. It like, could not be even any film. Space. It could be any film. It could be any film. That's quite a hint. Quite a hint. It could well, be any film. Well, That's what's happening? Hint. What's happening? What's happening? There's an argument. Mm, yeah, maybe. Is it the conversation? Yeah. <laughs> is it? it? The answer is the conversation. Oh, my God. That was... I don't even know how I managed to get that. I mean, I guess your game sort of works in its twisted... <laughs> twisted way. mind. And it's broken ass. It's like a bike with one wheel. It can work <laughs> just about. If you scrape hey, it along the floor. Hey, it's a good game. Give me another number. Give me another number. Uh, let's go three. My girl doesn't like me. Oh. She probably blocked me, but she certainly will kill me. What is my girl? Uh, could be lots of things, couldn't it? Is this a film title? Yep. Can you at least give me that? Yeah. I assume they always are going to be. Um, 
I would focus here maybe on the last sentence. I'll read it again then. My girl doesn't like me. She probably blocked me, but she certainly will kill me. Kill Bill? Mm, no. Mm. She w certainly will kill me. What do you think when you hear kill in films? I just said kill Bill. You, you, yeah, but like genre maybe? Murder. Mm. Mystery. Murder mm. mystery. Mm. Who done it? The, the main like action thriller. In, in killings. Guns. A kill film. Okay. Like uh, killing is involved. I, I don't know. Stabs. Crime. Revenge. I don't know. Lots of things. What do you mean? Like, like horror? Not necessarily. But you Hor say in horror then. Horror killers. Annabelle. Horror killers. No. Okay. So, oh, it says a psychopath or something like a slasher or something or like a. And I, 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 and something you could maybe describe a girl as maybe maybe, sort of. You're gonna like you're gonna get cancelled now for whatever this is. No. It's not scream, is it? No. I'm gonna say. It's um. <laughs> it's you know. So you could call a girl a girl, a what? Yeah. Or you could call lots of things, you know, really. Like, you know. Evil dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, maybe she's dead. Uh, maybe she died. Um, uh, what's a horror film with like a, like a, like a, uh, a pill? Pill! Is it? She's a pill. Is it a pill? Oh, there we go. I could have said something about like a, a, a clam or something, but I guess I would have given it away, wouldn't it? A clam. <laughs> Think clams. <laughs> right, right, right. I've got, I've, I have two more, but oh. you can do one if you want, or none, or whatever. Go on then. Give me a number. I don't know, one. Okay. <laughs> number. It doesn't really it's matter. Because really? I'm close to retirement. Oh. As my last shift, Sonny. There's been a murder. And I need to line up ten people to please the boss. I don't care who it is. I'm lazy. I don't care. I don't eat donuts, if that's what you're thinking. It's Jaffa Cakes by the pack. My 27-year-old bones are tired of this crap. So who am I bringing to the station? Jesus Christ. There's a lot. You said a lot then. But honestly, the main thing I got was, God, I could, yeah, I could do with some Jaffa Cakes right now. <laughs> Like, that's the only thing I really got from that. Um, <laughs> the one thing to not focus it on. It seemed like it was important, though. Um, so something about so someone's saying about retiring, but he's only twenty-seven, right? That's that's because I'm twenty-seven. Yeah, but you speak. See, so you're confusing things now because you're like in first person, but you're on about like anyway. Uh, something about someone retiring and something I, don't, I can't even remember most of it because there was so much of it. Can you, like, give me some keywords or something? It's my last shift. Oh, he's Batman. <laughs> my last shift. I'm murdered. I'm gone. I'm old. I need to line up. Get the bat zimmer. I need to line up. Line up. I said line up. I was thinking, up. like, yeah, like a line Ten up. Ten people. Like the usual suspects or something. I like your thinking. Yeah. Your that. lazy brain could be used on the force. Like my lazy brain was lazy used. Lazy brain. Because it is the usual suspects. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't actually seen that, but I can just I can just imagine the, the, the poster and that's kind of what it is, isn't it? Yeah. The usual suspects. Amazing. I think I did all right. Yeah. To be fair. I didn't do too you, bad. You 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 survived. You b did better than Anna Anna Ye or Anna May, let's That's say. true, yeah. Which says a lot about me as a character, really. Don't know what, but it says something. We're going to play <laughs> another game because this is just games because we can't think game of anything day. to talk about because we're boring. Um, we're going to play another new game that we're testing out called I call Tis the Season. Oh my god, I know nothing about this. I am going to give you five shows, five random shows. You need to tell me, or you need to at least guess, how many seasons of television these shows have. Okay. You get a bonus point if you can tell me how many episodes, but I mean, yeah, that's quite hard. But season wise, you know, just give me a give me a number. Because okay. you know it's not gonna be like five thousand. Or will it? I'm it not. could be if it's like Coronation Street. We're gonna start <laughs> I've actually weirdly I, there's there's a familiar uh, there's a pattern here which you'll probably pick up on. 
um, that isn't Coronation Street. We're going to start with Supernatural, the American TV series oh, uh, that started in... Um, well, I'm not going to tell you because that would give it away, wouldn't it? Supernatural. Um, How many seasons does Supernatural have? For some reason, I feel... I, I, I think... A, I hear Supernatural, I think of the show Heroes. I've never watched either of them. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to guess. <laughs> Does that help you? <laughs> nope. I'm going to guess Supernatural. Yeah. Ten. Let's go ten. You are wrong. Now you can gain, You can. Uh, there's no point system, but okay. you can You can gain. If I say it's higher or lower. Yes. That's what I'm literally going to say, yeah. Supernatural. You are wrong, I'm, but I'm, are you I'm higher or are you lower? I'm going to say lower. So your answer is lower than what they actually oh, is. Oh, 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 my answer is lower. Okay. Yeah. Um, no, I say it's higher. Okay, you I are wrong, and I can't really, you know, I can't really help you give you another lifeline. Really, it's fifteen. There are fifteen yeah. seasons, and there are three hundred twenty-seven episodes of Supernatural out there. Oh, I didn't even guess that in the world. I'll guess next time. Three hundred fifteen. Gunsmoke. Never even heard of that. Nor have I. This is a quite a big uh, American Western television series Ooh. that started back in. 55, if you can believe it. 1950, and it's still going today. Uh, I didn't say that. How many seasons does Gunsmoke have? <laughs> well, it really depends. <laughs> what? Well, dep well, dep huh? Depends? It's just it right here. Well, no, yeah, it depends if it's still... Well, because if, if it ended in, like, 60... Oh, gotcha, right. Then it's, like, four seasons. Yeah. But then if it's still going today, there's like 50 seasons. That's that's true, yeah. But I wouldn't tell you that because I would make it a bit too easy. When um, what's a Western? It's a Western series that did... Um... It's, it's a, it's a, okay, so, so logically it's a Western series. It's not like a Coronation Street, so it's not going on today. No. I'm going to say it finished in like 62, maybe 63. Okay, so that would mean it would have, what, like eight years? Eight years. Oh, I'm, I'm going to... Oh. I'm, I'm going to say eight seasons. Eight seasons? Yeah. You are wrong, but are you lower or are you higher, I'm higher. than the actual answer? I'm higher. I'm higher. There are 20 seasons of Gunsmoke, <laughs> uh, with 635 episodes. It started in 55 and it went to 75. Oh, so a good, good old 20 years right there. Okay, time for another American show. Murder, She Wrote. Oh, my God. Um, How many seasons of Murder, She Wrote hell. are there? <laughs> I, I assume you've heard of this one. Oh yeah, I've heard of it. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I never watched it. I, I assume it's just a murder mystery, right? It's uh, like uh, Gallag again, Gallag it's it's Gallag something Gallag like Christie. So I think it's going to be like something like fifteen. I'm going to go fourteen. Fourteen. You yeah. are wrong. But are you higher or are you I'm lower? lower? I think. 12 seasons. The one of time. The one time. Well, I know. I thought you have it then. I thought you were going to be like, you get it. Um, yeah. Uh, 264 episodes. Oh, damn. Not too bad. Let's go with The Jeffersons. I assume you've heard of yes. this one. The Jeffersons. Wait, uh, is it an anime? Is a it? sitcom. A sitcom. Uh, back, in, a... back in the day. Uh, another American show. How many seasons does The Jeffersons have? Remember, it's the, isn't it the... Um, sitcom. Isn't it like the thing where it's like, good night, good night, Jimbo, good night? Yeah, it's that sort of joke, I think. Good night, Mark, or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't think I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But I'm just reading actually what it's Apparently, it focuses on serious topics like alcoholism, I can't even say it. Alcoholism, racism, suicide, gun control, transgender, KKK, adult illiteracy. There's a lot There's a lot. There's a lot going on there. I didn't even realize. I thought it was just a bit of fun. I'm going to say, because it's a sitcom. Yeah. Oh, Started in uh, 75. I don't know if that helps you, but I'll just give you a bit of extra. Can you tell me when it ended? Not really. That okay. would help you, wouldn't it? Well, well it would give me a rough ball, but um, I'm going to say 13. 13? You are wrong. Are you higher or are you lower? I say I'm close, but... I'm higher. You are. Yes. So I right. think because you've got that right, what what should I do now? Should I give you another guess? You can give me a chance again. Uh, can, can you tell me, am I close? Or am I like nowhere near? Wouldn't that help you a lot though? Well, yeah, but... All right, you, I, I tell you what, it ended in 85. That doesn't help me at all. To 70, some, so 10. 75 to 85. Maybe like 10 then. 10 episodes. 11 seasons, 11 seasons with 253 episodes. 
And finally, part of our last little game of uh, Tis the Season, Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy oh, is a medical yeah. drama series. Uh, so ongoing, isn't it? Wait, wait, wait when it, did it... it might quite yeah, it may, it when did it come out? I think it, I think it will. Um, it came, it started in two thousand five. Oh yeah. So yeah, that will okay. help you quite a bit. How many seasons Gosh. of Grey's Anatomy are there? One a year, fifteen roughly. Maybe maybe slightly less because uh, oh no that that it's, it's been almost twenty years. Jeez. <laughs> um, oh. we're into twenty twenty four. Crazy. Um, I'll say. 18. 18. You are wrong. Are you higher or are you lower? <sighs> I'm lower. You are. So Do you want another guess? 20. Ding, 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 ding. You got it, 20. And for Ooh. a pa- extra pat on the back, would you like to hazard a guess on how many episodes there are? 20 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Mm-hmm. It's American? It is. So it's going to be... Oh, uh, do they have like twenty four episodes per? I'm gonna say like four hundred and thirty six. Oh, you are so close! Four hundred and thirty episodes. You are oh, really damn that's close. That's great. That was impressive. So uh, when it comes to Grey's Anatomy knowledge, you are there. I, you know, and you're ready to. I'm Grey. You, yeah, grey matter, whatever. Does it matter? That was tis the season, and now for a time for our final game. Our you know by by now it's kind of our routine game. Yes, Alex, take it away. Well, I will, Jake. I will gladly take it away. But the thing is, um, I don't have a good uh, segue into this now. Oh, but I thought you were going to say you know, I thought you were. Gonna, I don't have a count for it. And I thought you were going to. The thing is, on. you're having a sandwich, and this sandwich is juicy. It's Juicy, you know, a normal <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> what about hey, there's watercress in this sandwich. Oh no, <laughs> bringing that back. Juicy um, watercress. But bringing that back, he says. You're, no you're, you're, you're having ha- you're, you're ha- you're having a ha- happy day, happy day, happy meals, happy sandwiches. This juicy sandwich. Happy thoughts. And then you get like you, a good you, day. your phone rings. Those. It begins yeah. to ring. Damn it! You see Nintendo phone, boss ringing you, and. His name is Mr. Nintentions. And you answer it cautiously. You're scared of this man. And he and screams at you down the microphone. Jesus. What are your Nintentions? For this year's Nintentions annual meeting, where expectations are high, or you could be fired. Do you have anything that you would want Nintendo to do? If not, I do. Oh, good. That's good that you know your answer to your own game. Well, um, there's no answers to this game. It's good. It's no, like, to be it's fair, like it's a game. It's just a discussion, but it's a like game um, discussion. I'm going to do one that's really boring. Okay. Really dull. A proper... Uh, I don't even benefit from this. This is like an objective, like, I'm not even... I wouldn't benefit from what this is. But I can see... I can sort of be in the, the mindset of the, the public. You know? I yeah. Can, I, yeah. I'm kind of like... I'm, who am I? Am I a business guy? And who am I? Am I just employee? You're your employee number twenty nine thousand. Okay. Well, I'm in the I'm in the weeds of the people, and I can yeah. hear them whispering. And do you know what they whisper? You're in they a say, cafe eating a sandwich. They say we want a proper online service to play our games online and chat to our friends properly because you still can't do that on Switch, not properly. Oh, what make the online um, good? Because obviously, originally you you had to use a uh, an, an app from somewhere else. Uh, I don't know. That's not bad. I don't know if you can still. I don't know if you can do voice chat, but whatever it is, it's rubbish. The online system, the games they give you, great, and it's cheap, great. But I, I would be in the public, and I'd be like, "Yo, everyone's got online down. This is the world. We're all connected. Why isn't Nintendo connected? You know, why do I have to like hotwire this switch to chat with my friends? I might not have any friends, but I still got to try and do it. Exactly, and we encourage trying to make friends we do um and i'm sorry to hear that you don't have any friends well i can't connect with them anyway even if i did so yeah. in fact i'd lose friends nintendo it's your oh, fault i've no. lost all my friends we, we we need we need to make this dream come true where is this mr nintendo i'd like a word with him mr nintendo is not here anymore he's scared 
of this Nintendo Switch. But he fired you by email just now. Oh, um, okay. Fired again. So what's your... What, what, um, when uh, you get well, I, I, well I mean, I'm not sure who I talked to about this because... Oh, is it a personal? No, my... It's... It, I got my Joy-Con it's, stuck it's, somewhere. It's, it's Nintendo, but it's a toy. I think, like, the toy market for Nintendo. I'm talking about a Pokedex toy. You know, like, because... You know in Pokemon, can't, they have Pokedex. You, you which can't is get, you surely you can get one. In encyclopedia. Yeah, you can definitely get one. It was like... It's a rubbish one. It was a rubbish, like, plastic one, like, ages ago. Which one made of metal? <laughs> but the idea is you point at Pokemon and it tells you what the thing is in the show. Like, the Pokemon, it's, it's this Pokemon thing, right, and you yeah. log them. Yeah. So my idea is to bring out a good Pokedex over the camera. All right. Yeah. And then that allows you to... Take pictures of people. To... Uh, make plushies of every Pokemon, and then so people, so people, especially in Japan, they would love this. Like with the Pokedex, get Pokedex out, you, you scan them all, but it only it, it uploads the picture. But to get the information, this is where Nintendo are like, we need money. Mm. Uh, you have to buy the plushies, and it gives you a unique code, so you can't just go to anyone's plushie and take that code it's a one use code so you buy the physical plushie yeah. and you can scan it you, you scan the code and, and it gives it. you the yeah. information okay. of that pokemon so there's a two thing how big here. are these plushies are they like funko pop size they, or they, they, they like... could be like small ones yeah now, now that you think of it if you have loads of them um yeah uh they could be so you can have them in your house in uh or they could be big you know? Hold on, hang on. There's a, there's another employee on the line. He just got an idea. Come come over here. Not so my not my Pokedex no, just, toy. Just wait wait there a minute. He's he better got, not. He's got something to say about this. What, what, come on, what, Mr. Nintendo. Take that? my hand. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I got an idea. My Nintendo is called Pokemon Go. Oh, what's that about? Oh, you kind of use your phone and you catch hey. your Pokemon digitally. And no. And like you don't have to make toys. I'm oh, not talking about. Good, that. I'm not talking about Pokemon Go. It sounds like they've done no. it. No. Apart this from the plushy thing, which sounds just like a fantasy, and you have the Pokedex, and you can and make actual buttons, and you can actually do use it like okay. in the show, like so make I, it. I do talk get what you to mean. You. But <laughs> okay, but, but you know, Pokemon Go seems to kind of have all that covered. No, okay, no. Pokemon, Pokemon, no, Pokemon, says, Pokemon no is in no. the past, just like my alarm clock. Okay. Well, maybe that's in the future. I don't know. Yeah, okay. But that is the intentions for this annual meeting. Um, thank you for joining us today. Awesome. Uh, yeah. We always like to sort of conclude with a little bit of uh, screen seeking because this is the Screen Seekers podcast. So what screens have we been seeking or do want to seek or have sought? Well, um, at the moment. I mean, I, 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 I want to... There's something I want to watch. You want to I, seek. You're seeking. I know it. nothing. I don't really know nothing about it. You don't really know nothing about it? Or you do Which know? Which means I would you know something know about, about it. I do know nothing about it. <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to be good. Uh, when, uh, the time I was reincarnated by Slime and Animation, of course. I will probably watch that after I finish. That sounded like utter nonsense to me, My, what you said. What? Is that what... Is it, are we going back to uh, Anine or Anaye? Is that that what what, what, when my I, what, slime is? Say again. When, when I was reincarnated when as, I, as a yeah, slime. Okay, no, I have heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's about? Or? I guess he's reincarnated as a slime. Oh, wow, that's a great. Thank you, Mister. I Hazard. don't know what else it entails, but uh, I'm going to watch that after uh, my Hero Academia. But I have also been watching recently, um, mm. as you know, one of the best anime shows ever, One Piece. And it is so good. Like if you're upset, depressed, <laughs> whatever. If if <laughs> if if that girl doesn't know your name, if she blocked you, if she just, you know, said, I don't like that fish and slapped you with that fish, or slapped you, if you've been slapped by a girl, just go watch One Piece and it'll solve all your problems, all your women problems. Bloody therapist over here. Um, yeah, it's just so good. You have at least, if you are if you are depressed and like, oh my God, nothing's worth living for. And <laughs> you have at least one year left. Because, <laughs> because of One Piece. Because of One Piece, basically, yeah. <laughs> and there's 1,100 episodes at the moment. And... Just watch it. It's amazing. I'm on I'm, I'm about 1,000 episodes. I've taken a break, but, you know, it's so good. Um, 
And it's still going, right? Fantastic. It's, and still, it's, it's still going. No, no, no sign of stopping. Sign of stopping at the moment. Um, I mean, I guess I, I guess there was a thing of him stopping, uh, maybe in like three years, maybe. But then the anime, I don't know how far behind they are from the manga, but you know. Uh, but of course, the one the thing with so One Piece good. now is that obviously there's that the original show, but then there's also the live action Netflix one, which I've watched, which I loved, That's and also so big as well, then yeah. there's the remake as well, the remake of the, yeah. the upcoming whatever it is. I mean, I'm remake. not sure why you would watch that because you know you've already got it. You you, well, you've got Netflix, I assume, and it's on Netflix, and it's it looks crisp and nice. And I don't know. You know, just buy all the DVDs like me and just have it on your shelf because it's so Yeah, cute. but not everyone can buy the DVDs I know, because it's expensive. expensive. Or you can just get Netflix, can't you? Yeah, true. I think One Piece's live actions come out next year, I assume. I assume it is. Yeah, I, I think 2025. I hope it is. I'm cool looking forward to it because um, I really... really yeah, I've got to watch it as well. As, um, I'm sure it's good then. Mm. It's mm. going to be good. But yeah, that's um, what I've been... I've sought and seeked and... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> seeking. Um, what are you seeking, Jake? Or what am I sort? seeking? What do I want to watch? Just, yeah, it's um, there's a lot out there at the moment. Uh, it's hard to keep track of sort of everything. Sort of to watch. Um, sometimes you kind of just want to watch something that's, I don't want to say old, but something that's a bit older. So you just don't have to like keep up with the whole like sort of zeitgeist of the the show and it going on and on and on so mm-hmm. it's nice to know that this thing has four seasons and you can watch it and it's done and done 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 but obviously that's not what people really want nowadays but no there's um there's a lot to watch i kind of uh, there's a lot on sort of disney plus that i've watched uh just because i don't have a disney plus subscription at the moment because it's just again it's expensive um there's a bunch of marvel and star wars stuff i'm caught up on um i'm trying to think what really is sort of like on my like immediate to-do list sort of thing. Um, probably House of the Dragons kind of because I, I haven't watched the recent series and Rings of Power as well. That's out. Um, two kind of big fancy epic. Oh yeah, shows. I need to watch House of Dragon. Um, I watched the first season. It was really good. Um, apparently George R. R. Martin doesn't think so, but hey oh. Um, <laughs> well, I think he said season two. He, he put out like a blog about it. He's like, this is why it stuck or whatever, and read it because I don't want to spoil it, but. Um, now I do want to get to House of the Dragon, <laughs> Rings of Power, and also back to Succession because that is such a good show, and I've watched two seasons. I want to get back to that. Um, but at the moment, yeah, just sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to watch these really intense, <laughs> violent, sort of, you know, nudity everywhere, blood everywhere, swearing everywhere, and just take it easy, you know. I guess that's why you watch One Piece. Yeah, or, or s- something like Avenger Time comes to mind when I yes, don't want Avenger Time is a very good, it's amazing. Um, I'm slowly getting my way through it, but uh, yeah, it's a good, good palate cleanser. Is Avenger Time or something like that? Yeah. it's only an episode like ten minutes, but yeah, yeah. done. So god, good. that 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 would be like right now. That would be like, oh my god, that's insane. Ten minutes. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that's another episode of Screen Seekers. It was fun, wasn't it? It was just uh, kind of quizzes. We're trying to actually talk more about stuff next time, I guess, and not just ah, we love quizzes. constant games. We love um, games. Games, games. We just end up fun. by saying that this is Screen Seekers podcast, uh, kind of created or whatever you want to call it, by Innocent Clowns, which is a two-man filmmaking team. We make short films on YouTube, so you don't have to, and you don't have to watch them either. Um, but please do. Low budget, fun films are just made for fun. Lots of horrors, lots of spooky stuff. Uh, you know, we just do it because we uh, we're bored basically. I um, like it. We just celebrated our eleventh uh, anniversary. We've been doing this for eleven years now, although not like consistently. It does, you know, but reasonably consistently. Uh, and we have uh, in October, which is spooky season, we have uh, a one of our older films. We're sort of re-editing, reimagining. We do this a lot where we get one of our older films and we kind of give it a a big old facelift and just you know new music, new grading, new editing. Just you know, hopefully bring something good out of these these older ones we did. Um, so we've got one coming out, hopefully shortly. Uh, and we also called have it remains. Called it remains. Yeah, I think that'll be its title. Yeah, it's a change. Oh yeah, we could but... we, we should like change the titles a bit. <laughs> titles. Titles. We we love titles. Love titles. And then we have also have another idea for a film we want to shoot, which is kind of was. Came off of this podcast idea, wasn't it? Well, yeah, just the fact that we own microphones now. <laughs> Basically, what it is—that's how and, we uh, operate. We just we get we have something. Like we look at, oh look, we've got a mug. Make a film yeah. out. Yeah, 
uh, well, basically yes and has but the idea is about a podcaster who maybe gets haunted or something like that we don't know the gist but there's a podcaster or something like dj someone mm. on radio uh broadcasting something yeah because we do a lot of, sort but of it'll like be fun it'll be good it'll be it won't be as lame as it sounds or boring as it sounds as yeah, boring as this podcast is you mean basically. hey hey it's all right it's not the worst thing ever <laughs> oh that's good i mean there are war crimes out there i guess so we are above that you know, that's yeah. that's the one thing we can take from this. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Um, and let us know what screens you've been seeking legally and, and you know, safely and within the comforts of your own home. Um, yeah, do you have anything to add? Anything? <laughs> okay, then.